she is. Oh, look at her. Oh, hi. What's her name, Richard? Her name is Clemmy. She's a cockapoo. She's five years of age. She was born on the same day as Her Majesty the Queen, April 21st. And she's named after Winston Churchill's um, uh, wife, Clemmy, because I thought, well, she's probably one of the most longest suffering persons in history. <laughs> <laughs> Utterly devoted during lockdown. Look at her striking a pose. It's oh, very nice. She's very, nice. very, very well trained. She's, she's I know. Well, she's actually just had a bone from the butchers. So she's oh. had um, her Saturday morning treat. I'm having a refreshing beverage as always. I, I thought you were going to say you're having your bone from the butchers. <laughs> no, no, Ooh, no. That's a whole different thing. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm having, a milk, having a milk thistle, an effervescent milk thistle, which studies oh, very good. Um, that's is very good your, for you. your liver. Oh, I know you could have an effervescent milk thistle. What's in that? Well, I don't know. Oh, always with the questions, Debbie, never <laughs> stick to the brief. Do I look like I know what's in this? All I know is it fizzes, it's good for the liver. It and uh, there was a bit of a discount in Holland and Barrett because um, since the pubs have opened, I have been having quite a few refreshing beverages for my nerves, ladies, which is why I look okay. a little bit florid this morning. I think she may have caught this. Very beautiful. Florid. You look beautiful, darling. Do you know, Richard, you're supposed to take milk thistle before you have alcohol, and then afterwards. Right. Oh, well, it's too late then, darling. That's probably where you've got it wrong. I but know. I think you probably need to have it IV then, in that case. Yeah, 24 probably, seven. Probably. Yeah. What, well, the I alcohol? Have, I haven't no, had the any liquor. No, the milk is all for the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> any liquor uh, this morning that we can speak of, so I think this is fine. This is my and, bit of And drink. talking yeah. about liquor, uh, Winesward Stories are sending rosé as we speak, Richard. Ooh. Because you have run out. I have run out. Are they going to medivac it? Yes. Yes. It's, it's, come, it's coming in with the medivac in a drip. <laughs> To put it straight in your arm, and then you'll feel better. With <laughs> no, no, no messing, no fussing. No, no exactly. Right in there. As, as always, Wonder Birds, drink responsibly. Yes, oh, yes. absolutely. Very and responsible. I, I, but responsible. Yes. <laughs> I really it's not it's it's And as the old very, gag very goes, um, as the so, old gag goes, you can't drink Johnny. and drive because it goes all over the place. Oh, yeah. yes. The old guy. The old oh. guy. And I realise now I have also run out, and the only thing that I'm able to imbibe, and my dog is Albert is just um, agreeing with me, is the, of course, the sparkling red. I have to have that IV as well. Beautiful. Ah, it's very, very, very lovely. Have you tried that yet? Yes. Have, have you had it, oh. Sherry? Oh my have, God. I, I, I have got a sparkling red, but I haven't opened it. It is you sensational. You're saving the best for last. Not the sparkling red, because I was a bit, I thought, sparkling? You think red? it doesn't work, but it really does. It's amazing. Oh, it does. And I know this is dog morning Saturday, but I've got my cat mug, just a salute to those oh, people who oh. have cats well, as I'm well as dogs. Oh, we'll be back in a minute. Exactly. Oh. She going? She's gone off. Who knows? Oh, yeah. I think it's She's her bladder, but who knows? <laughs> I, think it's, it's, I, think it's, <laughs> I know it's I know it's not dress up Saturday, but what are you wearing over your lovely top? It's beautiful. Well, darling, this is a, it's a very casual hashtag dressing gown, hashtag kimono, hashtag TK Maxx. Oh fabulous. Very like good. Can you give us a twirl, please? Yes, dear. We love we love a bit of elegant economy. That is stunning. <laughs> I like do. That. that is absolutely stunning. Clemmy, Clemmy has now, um, she's sort of departed. She's had a brief uh, cameo. Um, I, I always keep this door shut because remember last week, girls, I told you about the fact that we've got some um, builders uh, behind. Uh, we've got yes. the builders in love. We've yes, we know. Renovating uh, this house, and I had them whistling Abba tunes um, last week. And all week, it sounded like they were actually strip mining the entire neighbourhood. But it did remind me. Funny, you should mention that, Sherry, of when um, I was with uh, Lord Sir Julian Fellows um, at an ITV summer party. Of course, the the chap who penned um, Downton and so much more. Yes, and, uh, he, he was he was bemoaning the fact that um, he was in the process of renovating his house in Dorset uh, with his wife and his pied -à in Chelsea. And he said to me, Richard, you've got no idea what it's like to have builders. At both ends. At which point? Oh! <laughs> what would you do? 
I will oh, right. oh, oh. warn Sir Julian Fellows possibly, but it is a story for another time. But oh, yes, yes. You know, look, the silence, they've stopped. This is perfect. This oh. is great. They must know that it's Saturday morning and I'm with my uh, Wonderbirds. Now, dogs very much in the news this week because yes. the trust have said yes. that a lot of pooches obviously have been... Um, uh, acquired, if you like, uh, during uh, lockdown. And I've seen <laughs> loads and loads of puppies in the park. And I know a lot of people have been debating whether or not it's been a good thing for people to buy puppies in lockdown, because obviously as we no. emerge from lockdown, yeah. um, they'll be a little bit anxious because perhaps we're not around as much as we uh, could be or have been. And uh, we ran a poll on Good Morning Britain uh, this week, and a lot of people weren't really in favour of the fact that people have got puppies during lockdown. My feeling about it is yeah. I think um, if you have got a puppy in lockdown, then... Um, you would have been in the chain, if you like, uh, for quite some time, because if you're doing it responsibly, you would find uh, the right breeder, obviously the right breed for you as well in the family, yes. and you would have yeah. researched that, and then lo and behold, the stork would arrive and you, you'd have a puppy uh, in time. But I, I'm a bit nervous about people who sort of suddenly have yeah. acquired a pooch, but they haven't exactly. you know, followed all the rules and regulations, because that really isn't pretty yeah. I I've heard that, Richard, that people are actually adopting rescues, and then of course, they are worried about the anxiety afterwards. Yeah, well, and, but as you, yeah, as yeah, you no, say, though, um, that it's been, it's probably quite a long process because mm. they do check you out quite, a, which is absolutely right. They do. And, they have, yeah. and I've been doing that too. So yeah, I'm waiting it's... for mine, actually. But it's... I have to tell you. <laughs> that actually, your I, puppy is I, I never thought we'd my see puppy. them on screen. And, one is, and this is, I'd like to introduce you to, while I'm waiting for the rescues, these are called stuffer poos, actually. They're called stuffer poos. And this is Dottie, and that's Doris. And I have to tell you, they're very, very naughty. They do terrible, they hide my car keys all the time, and I can't find them, and my house keys. But apart from that, they're very happy. I just they're have very a slight pretty. issue with, I have a slight issue with the name. But other than that, I think they're divine. No, I like the names. Dottie and Doris. No, look at poos. Teddy, Sherry. Oh, look at little poos. Teddy. <laughs> look at him. No. Oh. And can I just introduce you to Teddy's friend? Yes. That's Teddy's oh. friend. <laughs> He's called Humper. <laughs> because that's Teddy's that is. humping friend. <laughs> How can you? You should have a glove on it, darling. Yeah. No, it's not that bitty hump. Oh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Oh, this is the Happy first Saturday time morning, so... everyone. <laughs> no, this is, this is... You are awake, Richard. <laughs> yeah, Beady, my chihuahua, who has gone off barking somewhere, has a toy called Shadowlot. There you go. There you on go. a Saturday See? morning. Yes. And so... I'm not going to tell you what she uses it for. I don't well, think you need to. <laughs> yes. I, I think it's very clear. Listen to this. <laughs> this should be a late night show. I don't know what we're thinking. I was just about to say that. Before you say that, uh, Harriet, well, uh, tell me, uh, um, Clemmy, I must admit, is a little bit spoiled with the sort of fluffy uh, toys. Um, I get an eye roll from her. She throws shade at me every time I congratulate her. <laughs> going for a oh. break because she's sort of looking at me going, I am five years old. And then every, but every time we come yes. back from the trip, or when we used to travel, obviously a lot more, we'd come back and she'd go straight to the case and she'd always know that there would be something fluffy. She has a, a favourite is a, um, a sniffany cushion, which is Ooh. obviously a fake what? Tiffany, well, uh, like a fake Ooh. Tiffany cushion, but Sniffany, see yes. what they did there. Lovely. Um, of so yeah, she's got various liquor branded ones uh, as well. Uh, Paul Bucks, of course, <laughs> Starbucks. Um, but yeah, and um, there's a, I don't know what the pun is on the Tanqueray 10 um, bottle, because you know, I, I, I do like a little gin and tonic. And I do, so I don't, that's the drilling started again. Um, <laughs> but we love the company. Um, but yeah, yeah, she does. She loves. A, she loves a fluffy toy. I don't know where I'd be without her. Actually, to be quite honest, she's been an absolute lifesaver, particularly recently. Oh. She really is the love of my life. And if you buy next Sunday's um, uh, Sunday Express, there's a little feature on Clemmy and I. Um, <gasps> I, I Fabulous. Did. Uh, How did you get her to start with? What happened? How did you actually get her? We, I, you know, it's a good question, Debbie, actually, because we did, we researched, we asked a friend who's got a couple of pooches, um, and I had this vision of um, having corgis 
because I, I wanted this of sort of image of me walking down the steps of the house with the two corgis following me down and a little grainy pap shot so I looked like the queen who was getting off the plane when she was going up to Balmoral. Uh, but of course, you've got to be a little bit more responsible than that. And, and corgis, apparently, I'm told, were, like, it can be a little bit nippy. And we had godchildren who were much younger at the time. So we thought cockapoos, fluffy, friendly, lots of energy. And because yeah. it's my first ever pet, which I've talked about before, um, yeah. I wasn't confident going down the rescue um, route, although that's something that we, we want to explore further down the line. And uh, we mentioned it to a friend, and my friend Deborah put us in touch with, I suppose, the, it's like a doggy broker, just, just a woman who sort of looks <laughs> in and finds the breeders for you, and found this lovely breeder up in, um, up in Lancashire. And... Uh, yeah, we went up to meet the parents, if you like, and, uh, and then Good. went and uh, met the litter when it arrived. And then Clemmie sort of crawled out of the litter over the linoleum and sort of crept into my neck. That clearly, was it. Had, um, clearly had a passion for my signature fragrance and uh, <laughs> clear liquor, and, uh, which was sort of emanating from my pores. And it was a love affair. That was it. And we, we, we'd gone traveling after that briefly. And, and then we got the phone call to say that we, we'd got the one we wanted because mm. she had this perfect little white triangle on her nose. And I thought, well, oh. we had second choice. And I thought, well, they're bound to go for the one with the lovely white triangle, but, but they didn't. So we were lucky. We, we got our girl and, and we brought her home. Oh. And I remember um, I left the uh, Good Morning Britain sofa and I got to the uh, station ready to pick her up. And I was quite sort of, you know, up to 90 about it because I was a bit anxious, uh, you know, bringing her back, having never had a pet before, uh, at least for a dog. And it, there was a points failure at Milton Keynes. So um, I had to, the train I'd booked, I couldn't get on. So I then got on the train, arrived at the uh, destination. There was a fracking demonstration there that it took about half an hour for me to get through. Oh, Lord, but eventually oh. I got to the bar. And, uh, and, I, and I got my pooch. But uh, yeah, and, and we've never looked back since, to be quite honest. Oh, fabulous. So beautiful. Yeah. They do say. I wonder how. I wonder how people you. match uh, humans to animals. I mean, there must be there must be a kind of uh, app. You know, match your dog to your. Per or, you know, who you would match up with, who you would see you. What dog would you yeah. see you with? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, looking at Debbie, she's an Afghan hound, isn't she? What <laughs> mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and Harriet. Don't. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what would you be, darling? Well, I used to have a Vimarana, you see. And there you he go. Was yeah. Oh. Oh, well, I was going to say, is that something Dr. Hillary can help you with? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think, if I think only Dr. Hillary would help Harriet, me with anything, I'd be there. Harriet, you know, looks yeah. like a, Harriet, you look like a Spaniel. Me? Okay. No, no me, dear. That's quite nice. Harriet. That's quite yeah. nice, Harriet. Sherry is the uh, Peggy Lee dog in uh, He's the Tram. Yeah. Well, I love it. You know, love and if you do like that <laughs> with your fringe, can you do Enough. that? Can you blow your fringe up? I don't know. I think, I don't, who's, who's D, Richard? What do you think D would be? Uh, well, of course, she's, apart from the woman of my dreams, you mean? It's no yes. oh, thank it's fabulous breeze on um, going on. Yeah, Dee, what would you? I, 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 you look quite doe-eyed. I think a cavapoo, actually, a cavapoo. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what Albert is. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I and am they sorry. don't shed their hair, Dee, so it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, thank where you is, so much. Where is Albert? Uh, he's where right here. Can we he's, see him? Come here. Yes, oh, he is eating. So many gravy bones. Oh, oh Albert. Yeah. gorgeous. Albert. Oh, he's gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. This way. There. Oh, look, look. at that face. Oh. <laughs> but he's just well, a gravy bone fanatic. fanatic. Thank you. <laughs> We, and it's um, true. We, I wanted I wanted a dog that was hypoallergenic and first generation cockapoos are as well, and so they don't and they don't um, offend people with finer sensibilities when it comes to allergies, which is why um, I was able uh, uh, to take her into work. You know, which is great. Yeah. She's met them all yeah. actually. The first time um, she met a, a celebrity, it was Renny Zellweger. Have I told you this story before? When we were no. in the club, no. and uh, Renny Zellweger had come in to um, research her latest um, incarnation of or film for um, Bridget Jones, and she was. Um, researching what it would be like in a, a live television gallery on a morning TV show. And uh, we were sort of told that Renny would be coming in. There was no need to make a fuss. She'd be sort of, you know, in the shadows, if you like, in the back of the gallery. And Clemmy was a, a nipper back then. This is a good few years ago. And Clemmy was sat on my lap in makeup. And Renny walked into makeup. And I thought, was Renny, oh, my God, are we supposed to acknowledge her? Do it a lot. Like, All right, Renny, what do we do? I mean, how, do we, how do we approach this? Um, and she was beautiful, warm, very personable. 
but um, she sort of she fell in love with a dog. They're like a magnet, aren't they? I mean, they're a great level. Yeah. They tend to behave better around dogs than they do people. Um, this show weekly is a case in point. And um, uh, Renny came up. <laughs> he, um, she uh, started massaging Clemmy's gums. So part oh. of me was sort of to use the phrase again, up to ninety, about the fact that well, this is my pride and joy on my lap here but it's Rennie Zellweger and stuff so yeah. I'm still waiting for the invite to Thanksgiving which she proffered but unfortunately um, it wasn't forthcoming <laughs> but um, yeah Clemmy since then has been an absolute magnet for them um, which is great uh, she's had a photo taken with so many celebrities sort of over the years it was when she was sat next to Michael Bolton she looked worryingly like him um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, she's met them all my love. she's met them all Massaging her gut, massaging your dog's gums. Sorry, what? Um, can, we've kind of glossed over that bit. What do What's you mean, that? massaging her glump, gums? Oh yeah, massaging her gums. Well, obviously, I, I well, not so much teething, but she was a young age and stuff, and you know that they're, they're quite spiky little teeth then and stuff like that. But she just started gently. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. This is a form of therapy. I opened my mouth wide, of course, because I was slack jaw. She didn't, she didn't talk to, to massage my gums. And, I, and once again, I was like, massage my gums. I need the press. Someone get this picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Richard, I was going to say, we were going to have a quick chat about Make oh. a Difference Trust, Mad Drag Night. Um, um, make a Difference. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tell me about it, uh, Harry. I've got the note here. Friday 23rd. Mad Drag Night. A, and it's drag, right? Mad and Drag Night. Here. It's Make a Difference Trust. It's a big AIDS charity. And Sherry and I have both done, done them in the past. And because of of course this lockdown, they can't raise any money. So it's going to yes. be online, 6.30 on Sunday night, Mad Drag Night, and it's a sensation. Be there. Be I'm there. Well. We will yes. be there. Yeah. Be there. It'll we'll be, be fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Who do you yes, start? Definitely. Albert. Oh. Because I've stopped giving him baby bones and he won't Please. eat his chicken twist. No. You Very won't. irritating. <laughs> so, so what, <laughs> In a Lady of the Tramp that you look like, Sherry. What was what sort of breed was that? The dog. The lady in the Tramp. Uh, she was a, a, a Spaniel. Spaniel. What was she? She was Spaniel. Was she a Spaniel or a, a collie? She, I think, I think, she, was, she, was I think she was Spaniel. Yeah. No, no, she no, was no, no, no. With, with the lock over her thing. Yeah, that's not a Spaniel. Oh, no, no, the, the lead. The lead is a. Oh, she's a oh no, she might have been that one that gets red eyes. What's that called? A multi. Um, um, no. Are we really I having this conversation? <laughs> Brilliant. Richard, I can only away. imagine what I mean. Literally, what's quiz night with you girls going to be like? <laughs> I could ask you what you want for a drink, and it would it would have to go to a committee so you could work out what we, what we were actually going to order. But this is why this is why I'm terrible at quizzes, and I know we're going on a I am. Uh, here, me too. Absolutely terrible because you either know it or you don't. And people think, yeah. because, you, you, you know, we particularly in my case, what I do for a living. Living, I'm going to know everything about Beyonce, yeah. everything about Kanye West and the, and the Kardashians and name them all in alphabetical order as well no. as their litters. Yes. And it, it's like, well, yeah, I, I, they're, they're there. It's all floating around. I know that. But the minute you're sort of put on the spot and you, you know. No. Oh, it's horrible. No idea. Richard, somebody asked me the other day. So this was a quiz. Yeah. Um, so you had to name a high street shop that sold big uh, sandwiches that you could add things into. Yeah. And uh, big pies, and you could have anything you want, and you just ordered it. And it began with G. This right. big sandwich shop. Of course, it's big a no brainer. Shop. And what did you so say? So I Mary? said, I said, garden centre. <laughs> and was it right? Love was. It was. It was radio show. Yes, garden centre. It was called Greg's, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I didn't. Like, God, I. She said the garden centre. Garden centre. <laughs> the other thing is, Richard, this has happened to you, but since you know, lockdown, because we weren't moving around so much, we weren't yeah. at home, we were static, the, the fat that has arrived on my body is not like fat I've ever seen before. It's no. sort of different. It's somebody there. else's. It's different. <laughs> it's a different sort of You've It certainly does blood. belong to me. Is it's it because blubber. we've been sitting down too much that the yes, fat has blubber. changed? Yeah. Blubber. Not good. Blubber. blubber. Yeah. Blubber. Yeah. But Richard, you look very well. floats in the bath. You know, when you Richard, bath, you all floats like that on top of the bath. 
Stop it. You can <laughs> say all things on it. Not <laughs> <laughs> Only face down, ladies. No, I must admit, I've sort of let it go a little bit now that we've started to, to, to go out a little bit more, but I'm still trying to keep myself tidy, ladies. I must say, Richard, I just saw you um, in a photograph with all of One Direction. Mm. And you looked like one of them, darling. You're, oh, you oh my God. Let me tell you the story about that. Again, I don't know how long... never ending. Right, I don't know how long we've got, but this, this is the final story for this morning, and, and more, of course, next week at the same time. But that picture of me in One Direction, which I posted this week on Instagram because it was celebrating the 10th anniversary of the boys being formed on X Factor. I think it was the 23rd of July, mm. uh, 10 years ago. I was in Greece on holiday, and I was... What, well, I must have been a loose, whatever, 40, well, 10 years ago, so a loose 40 or whatever. And I got on a quad bike for the first time. Ooh. And uh, I came off the quad bike and <laughs> stitches. And I, I, Stop I, it. I mean, it's ludicrous. Who gets on a quad bike when you're 40 for the very first time? So I wasn't <laughs> being a boy racer or anything. It was a total <laughs> trap ball. And um, I needed <gasps> stitches. And uh, oh, I was no. in the So, um, and goodness me, you get what you pay for in Mykonos. I went, I went into the hospital and there was this doctor who was um, putting the stitches in and he was doing that thing where he was like this, you know, making sure that I had no concussion. And he said, you're not looking into my eye. <laughs> no, you're not following my fingers. And I said, because I was just looking into his eyes because he was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I, I had I didn't realize I didn't realize that I was actually allergic to penicillin. So they gave me penicillin once I'd had the um, the, uh, the stitches, and uh, sort of about a week later, my face just ballooned, and I turned to the lads I was on holiday with, and I said, oh, "I can't bear this." I said, "I've got to go and interview One Direction next week." And oh, the no. little face is out here. I was lucky because the minute I came off the penicillin, everything sort of slightly shrank down a bit. But oh. it's nothing like interviewing a boy band when you've got a bloat on. You know, I mean, as I it know. is, you're, like, you're picking them up from yeah. school, you know? So, Darling, I mean, I always, if ever I'm lying down in hospital and I've got something small going on, I always say, can't they just do everything while I'm lying down? Just nip, yeah. tuck and do everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, that's what I say. But apparently yeah, not. Get rid of it all. Yeah, apparently not. Apparently, yeah, apparently not. Same time next week, ladies. I love yes. you. Stay, stay off the quad bikes. Drink responsibly. <laughs> we, will. we will. There we are three tales love for you. this week. Love Bye. you, darling. Cheers. Happy, happy. Dorothy and happy Doris. weekend. Bye. Oh, my God. Bye. Dee, put your puppies down, dear. Please, Please. Dee. Okay. Is it just me? <laughs> I don't think Dee's had any human contact for weeks. No. <laughs> yeah. Nature is true. It's Matron's true. Not, Matron hasn't done the rounds yet. We're going to get her sorted later. Yeah, I'm waiting now. I'm waiting. Come on, Matron. Come on. Love you, ladies. Have a lovely Bye. Bye. Happy morning. Bye.